Well, at the end of our visit to South Wales, of course, we had to get back to the west of England. So what better way on a beautiful day like this than to join the holidaymakers on a day trip and come over in one of the White Funnel Fleet steamers. I'm on the end of the pier at Western Supermare now, but we take up the story as we board the steamer, the Bristol Queen, back in Cardiff. Smith Cox, you're the managing director of this line. How long have the uh, White Funnel paddle steamers been running in the Bristol Channel now? Since 1877. 1887 was the first. It's quite a record, isn't it? Quite a long time. Any uh, any serious accidents in that time? Serious accidents, and I'm happy to say we've never lost a life yet, and we hope we shan't. So people were, this was <coughs> part of the holiday scene well back before the First World War then? Yes, it has been now for all that time. We must have carried somewhere between 50 and 70 million people in the Bristol Channel. What happened to the steamers during the last war? Well, in the last war, we lost seven one way and another, three at Dunkirk, two on other occasions, one in the Normandy beaches, and two were returned in such a state they were no further use. And these, these steamers took part in the Dunkirk evacuation? Well, this one didn't, but the fleet did, yes. Yes. Did you, that meant you had to build some more, presumably, after the Second yes, World War? Yes, this was one of those built after the war, the Bristol Queen. Yeah. Can you tell us something about this boat, the Bristol yes, Queen? Yes, she's about 245 feet long, just under 900 tons, carry just over 1,100 people. Uh, the maximum speed she ever achieved was 19.4 knots. What, uh, what sort of engines have you to produce that speed? Well, it's produced by steam and they're oil-fired engines. What uh, facilities have you for people aboard here for a day's trip? Well, there are two bars, there's a tea room, there's a restaurant which is open all the time. There are fairly reasonable facilities, I think. Now, uh, paddle steamers seem part of the past somehow. What are your plans for the future? Well, I suppose to some extent they are, but of course the Bristol Channel had peculiar features that made paddles useful for doing the job. But I think in the future one would have screw steamers, and the last ship we introduced was a small screw vessel. You did experiment with a hovercraft, though, last year, didn't you? That is correct, and uh, we are now running it on the south coast, and the intention is to operate a hovercraft service both on the south coast to the Isle of Wight and in the Bristol Channel and Dew Cross. These operations are experimental to get the necessary data. And what type of hovercraft are we likely to see running across the Bristol Channel? Well, eventually day? when it comes, one carrying perhaps 24 cars, 200 passengers at the same time, something of that order. When it comes, when will that be? Well, I think the first one on the south coast we aim for 1967, and the Bristol Channel ought not to be long after. <laughs> 